what is up? I am back. I am back. I've really been uh, struggling to make content lately. I don't know why. I've just been other stuff in my life going on at the same time, to be honest. But I am back and I really want to go hard. I'm, I want to go hard at this content shit and just make a bunch of content and just have fun with it and see where it can take me. Oops. Anyways, welcome to today's video. This is getting some more work. I just started. Um, I'm getting putting this guy on today. A little catch can. Got a nice little bracket for it. All pretty. Got a little breather for it. It's, it's a two connection can. This is the inlet. This is the outlet. Um, inlet's going to go. It's going to replace this that goes into the intake. Going to go into there. And then the other one's going to go into the PCV valve. And then I just got to block it off on the intake. You see how this comes here. So right here, and then goes into the intake. It's your positive crankcase ventilation. And for the people who don't know, mo mostly on, on any car really, but turbo engines especially, there's a lot of blow-by, which is air that gets seeped through the pistons when the compression stroke goes up. And uh, there's just a little bit of blow-by, and then that that uh, puts that ventilates your crankcase, which you need to. That's what your PCV is for. But there's always going to be some left because it's going into your intake to be tossed back in to burn. But there's always still going to be some left, which a catch can helps re like reduce that because a catch can will actually just trap all the crap in the bottom of the can, that like the mixture of air, oil, and and stuff and all that. So originally a charcoal canister sits right here. I'll show you guys what that actually looks like. It's in the. I just put it away because I don't need it right now. But this, this is the guy that sits there, a little charcoal canister. It, this actually hooks up to the gas tank and helps for carbon deposits and stuff. And like, all it's for is like for emissions, which it's honestly, it's kind of useless for the long lasting of your motor, which is why everyone converts that to a catch can. This hard line right here, I had to block off. All this is, is literally a solid line that just goes to the gas tank and it's just a breather. That's it, you don't need it. It's literally used for emissions. That's what the car needed to do back in the day when it was made to be still road legal and emissions and everything back in Japan. But now that we're in Alberta, Canada, they don't really care. Japan, you probably still have to, I, I don't know, I'm actually not sure what they'd have to do in Japan for it. I feel like it would be have to still have some emissions stuff because I know Japan's very strict on their emissions laws compared to here where I am. Nonetheless, um, this is now useless to me. I'm just gonna, I just blocked it off with a little nipple and then a clamp because if I ever do get rid of the car or whatever, or if I need to switch back to the charcoal canister for any reason, it's easy. I literally just plug it back in and then this line here is the other one that goes to it. This is the filter line, uh, the purge line that goes onto the thing. And then it goes, basically just loops around and then pops into the throttle body right here. Which I'm gonna do the same thing, just take off these lines, block them off, simple as that. It's pretty, it's a very simple install. Only problem is, is these are really big. The tips and a line I got fits it. It's really, it's tight, but it fits. But the problem is, is this is a lot smaller. These, this is a lot smaller than uh, this big thick line here that needs to go on it. So, I have a friend who got another catch can. I'm going to see if I can steal uh, some fittings to make it work. Nonetheless, I'm still going to mount this all up and make it look all good because I just got the bracket all situated earlier and painted and everything. So, yeah, I'll show you guys that process. All right, just to update you guys, um, I, as you guys saw, I just had to take the catch can out. Just because this is kind of like a custom thing, like this is definitely not made for this car. <laughs> this is like a universal catch can, but as you can see, as soon as I bolted it up, this came loose here. The bracket, so I got a bolt coming in here, and then it goes to a nut on the other end. 
But I just need to find a better way to set this up because it loosened up right away. And it was, as you can see, it's like shaking up and down. So we'll figure out as a little system how to get this. I also had to trim this little piece a little bit as well, just to fit under the, um, the what's it called, the shut bar across. But we will figure it out and I'll show you guys what I changed. I might just tighten it up and then throw it back on, see what happens. But yeah, we're, figure, we're, we're figuring this out as we go. All right, the catch can is all mounted, all looking nice. I just need to get some new fittings for the, the ends and then some new lines to route it and everything because it's going to plug into the valve cover here and then plug into the PCV valve right here and then you just block it off on the intake. And um, these two lines, I don't know if you guys see them right here, my fingers or not, it's, this one's the blue one as well. You to, to do a catch can and delete the, P, or the, the, the canister, charcoal canister, you need to block off all three of these. Well, actually, this one, no, because this one's for the EGR, but I'm doing an EGR, or sorry, SAS, secondary air system. That's what they're called in these cars. The SAS delete, this is what happens. You, you put it here, you block this off, and then for the canister, you block off the right one, and then this one as well. And yeah, that's about all you have to delete for the people who are interested. And then the EGR just sits here, and then the line goes right here and then down to the actual secondary system that's under the intake manifold. That's what gets that secondary recycled exhaust and puts her back in. Yeah, they said, um, I've read up on the, I've read up on the SAS system because it's totally different as an EGR. Well, same premise, I guess, but they work differently. Um, because Evo 789 have an EGR and a SAS. They have both. They're just two, they're two separate systems, but they're kind of, they're, they're similar. But the SAS, what happens is it makes your car laggy, you're in fifth gear. But in all the other gears, you have a more consistent um, flow. And because um, it's, it's all all the flows coming from one, like one place, right? It's all the turbo, that's it. it. makes your car a teensy bit less, excuse me, responsive. But it aids in like pops and bangs and like your car will sound a bit cooler and stuff and all that. And you're, you'll just be a bit laggier in fifth gear, but that's about it. Like that's if you're, you know, you're cruising in fifth gear and you're gonna floor it, then you'd be a pretty laggy. Which, nonetheless, it's not like these cars are super crazy high end. Like you know, it's a low end power car, and SAS is. And I, I made it so if I if I don't like it, then it's easy enough to throw back on. That's why these aftermarket headers I got. So I can reuse the SAS system if I want to. So pretty much it's, if I end up not liking it, then it's not a big deal because everything is interchangeable. Everything's ready to go. It's blocked off. I didn't like break anything or like, you know, nothing was tossed out. I'm keeping everything to where if I want to reverse it, it's all reversible. That's kind of the goal with this car is I want everything to be easy. Every part I'm putting on, I don't want it to be like a, oh fuck, I have to take that part off, you know? Everything's easy enough but yeah um, I'm gonna get some lines for that and I'll show you guys how that all goes and uh, yeah alrighty guys so we have another Evo outside and we just finished making a bracket here uh, we're just painting it right now I'm actually gonna throw another coat on this ignore the spray paint job this is the back of it so I don't really care as so much and the guy we're doing this for doesn't care either <laughs> But we chopped this mount. This used to come out to like about here. We cut this, drilled our holes there. And this is going for a catch can. So, not for this Evo. Holy shit. But it's the same can. We got this catch can. And we just got the mounds, lines all mounted up. And we are going right here. That bracket's gonna sit bam bam. And for the X, it goes, this is the PCV right here. You just block this boy off and then this goes on the valve cover. And then what Cody's doing over here, right on the other end of the valve cover. This is the outline or inline? Uh, out. Out. So the one that runs into the outside of the catch can. Okay. So it runs back in. I see, because I need to figure that out on my car. I don't know which one. Actually, it's probably the exact same because my PCV system's the exact same, besides just that our engines are flipped. So it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, to compare on this old, old thing, 
Um, I got some new fittings for this off of his catch can that I robbed. And basically, instead of having the PCV valve and intake set on this side, whoops, this is the exhaust side, and then intakes on that side, it's just flipped. So this is going to be our in, and then our out is going to be right here, I believe. I actually need to block off the intake one right here. Pretty much, it's like the exact same setup, actually, now that I think of it. Other than I need to block off the charcoal canister, but that's no biggie. So yeah, we've got the catch cans installed on his, on mine, sorry. We're about to get his installed. We just made the bracket for it. Exact same can, just cheap catch can. Just need some custom work because they're just kind of a universal can. So we just made ourselves a bracket and uh, I'll show the final product of that one and that one. All right, guys, the catch can is installed. The outlet is on this side that runs down and then up and through into the valve cover, which is the out of the catch can. And then the in goes into the PCV valve right here under the, the line here under the, sorry, the wiring. So that's runs down uh, under all this wiring and I looped it under this hose here and then it just goes right here into the inlet. So catch can's all plumbed, we plumbed up Cody's as well. The catch can is installed and it's all good to go. I'm just gonna get a uh, clamp for this one. This one is gonna be tight as hell, so that's not going anywhere. But the inlet on the far side, I'm gonna get a clamp for, but yeah, it looks nice. It looks like like stock, you know what I mean? I just need to, I just kind of forgot actually. I need to block off this guy right here. I totally did not think of that. Good thing I started recording because I actually would have forgot to be honest. So I'll plug that right now and then we are all done. Then the catch can is plumbed and ready to go. And then we can move on to what's next. So yeah, next is probably gonna be the brake master because as you guys can see, wait. That boy leaking. That boy do be leaking and stuff. I have no idea where from, but it's leaking. Either way, I've got a new uh, brake booster on the way. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. Cody's, we went out for a riff in his car. His runs freaking great. His car runs awesome. No issues there. Catch can all plumbed up. Nothing came loose. We're all good. Runs fine. Catch can install went friggin' smooth. So that's very awesome. I'm just gonna put in my uh, blow off valve back in, plug that hole, and then we are mint. So that'll be it for that studio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Evo is getting so much closer and closer to being finished. And uh, I will give you guys an update soon because I'm going to actually, I'm going to be vlogging again this weekend because I'm going on a trip to pick up some parts, which will be exciting. And uh, I'll show you guys what I get and uh, we'll throw it in the Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy.